All right, welcome back to another edition of the Franklin Community High School Career Exploration Project. I am joined here by Joseph McGuire. He is a partner at Norris Choplin and Schroeder Law Firm in uh, downtown Indianapolis. Joe, thank you for, can, may I call you Joe? You can call me Joe. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks for joining me today, I really appreciate it. Well, it's, it's my honor. Uh, so just your your job, uh, you're a partner, um, you've been an attorney for, for several years now, just kind of go over what you do, um, how you got to be a partner, what that entails, and, and just kind of uh, fill us in on, on your background. Well, I started off when I, um, um, when I first got out of law school, I did work at the prosecutor's office, and, um, and so... Uh, that was all criminal work. Um, and then when I finished, I was a public defender. So I kind of switched sides there in a major felony court and did criminal defense. Uh, and then got um, started working with some lawyers doing civil uh, practice, which was a state's um, defense of auto accidents and um, in any civil type litigation. And I did that for oh, six or seven years and then kind of went out on my own. Uh, and I was from the South side and wanted to be, have a little more flexibility. So that's what I did. And so I had a, my own practice for oh, 15 or 16 years and did primarily uh, civil litigation, estates um, and some other matters that interest me. Uh, and, that um so i did that and then 2002 a friend of mine uh you know when you're working on your own it's one thing but you um you don't have anybody to uh ask questions to you can't go walk down the hall and go hey what do you think about this case or what do you think about this and so uh, i would always call other lawyers um you know who were friends and then they would they would fill in what i needed there so uh, and I talked to one friend and he said, hey, have you thought about coming back downtown? I said, oh, I always loved downtown. And so we started talking and um, uh, I had one legal assistant. Um, and so we talked and he hired uh, I got hired there just as an associate and they hired my legal assistant as well. So I did that for oh until 2000 and seven and then uh, five years and then I became a partner. So what's the difference as far as partner and, and just an associate? Well, partner, you have ownership interest. And so it's uh, you get a percentage depending on your what your partner percentage is. You get a percentage of the firm's profit, which is good and bad. I mean, because uh, you're not an employee, so uh, you have to pay. Uh, self-employment tax and you pay quarterly taxes um, and um, and then you don't know you have to make sure that your the monthly income you're going to have a positive effect or a loss if you don't if you don't make any money then you don't a percentage of zero is zero so <laughs> so how many how many attorneys are currently at Norris Joplin and Schroeder? We have 17 attorneys. And so, I th and I think we have, there's like eight partners. Okay. So with your, you know, you started, uh, like you said, in, uh, uh, in the prosecutor's office. What was before that, what was kind of your education and, and training for that? I, I went to um, Indiana University and uh, I was a criminal justice major um, through the school of public and environmental affairs. And so that was, that was my background there and graduated. And then when I got out of, uh, of school, I started as a probation officer and in, in Marion County in juvenile court, which was interesting and, uh, gave a good background for law. And, um, and then you, a lot of, a lot of probation officers, it doesn't pay much. So, um, um, so I was, you try to decide what to do. And I decided you could either go into social work or you go into law. And my brother was a lawyer and I thought it was interesting. And so I went to law school. So now did, did your brother go to IU too? 
Uh, he went to IU Law School. Yes, he okay. went to Purdue undergrad. So once, so when he went to law school, because he went to law school at the at the better school. Well, uh, yes, Purdue doesn't have a law school. Okay, yeah, that's. I mean, it's more of a challenging uh, thing to have law school, and Purdue's kind of education stops at a certain point. Is that? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> so no, so, Purdue's, Purdue's a great school. I mean, and it's, uh, uh, you know, so I know a lot of fine graduates from that school. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, we've got to have some every once in a while. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so with, uh, I mean, what drew you into law? Like, I mean, and when you were a probation officer, was that kind of what you thought you were going to be? Was that the path or, or was that like you were in there and you were like, it's, it's law or social work. And, you know, you saw, you saw what your brother um, was doing and that was more of an interest to you or, or did you, you know, going through school, did you always think that maybe law was the end game or was it just kind of a, I'm going to see what, what's out there? No, I was, I was always interested in law. And then um, when I was a probation officer, I, I got to be in court quite a bit. You know, I would, testify or you know just as to uh, probation i would watch judges and make decisions and it really just kind of fascinated me then i worked um you know a summer internship with the prosecutor's office and so i was in court every day helping prosecutors get ready so that the courtroom always fascinated me what was it that made you uh, want to switch from like prosecution to defense? Um, just, I, I had an offer. Um, <laughs> so, um, and, um, so I, I thought it gave me a little more flexibility. Uh, yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't easy anyway. So it's, uh, that's the main thing people always ask. And, and not all lawyers go in the courtroom. I mean, there's some lawyers that never step foot in a courtroom and they never have any interest. So, mm -hmm. Being a lawyer is not always going to court. I mean, most of the time it's it's trying to avoid court, uh, and that's that's what that's what we do more in civil practices. What what can you do? Because when you get to court, um, that uh, you know you leave the uh, the decision either to a jury or a judge, and it's it's not uh, uh, you don't get to participate. So we do a lot of mediations, too. I'm a trained mediator, registered mediator. And um, so uh, we find that uh, a lawyer will advocate on, on behalf of his client. Um, and so sometimes when you get two lawyers opposing, um, they can't come to an agreement. So when they interject a third party, a mediator, then they facilitate bringing the parties together. Okay. So, so yeah, it's not always what, uh, do you see a lot of the shows on TV and some, and sometimes you're just like, that is not what it's like being an attorney at all. <laughs> yeah. No, just about it. Every, every show. I mean, it, it's interesting. I mean, it, it's kind of like the medical shows too. It's yeah. like, uh, you know, that's has nothing, nothing, no similarities, right. you know? And so it's, uh, yeah, that I mean, it, it makes for good stories, but uh, but it's not always that's not accurate. Right. But <laughs> and, and I try to avoid watching them, and anyway. <laughs> it's like uh, uh, I see this every day. Yeah. <laughs> so you've obviously you've been a uh, been an attorney for uh, for a few years, a couple years, we'd say. Uh, you've you've seen. Uh, I guess, what do you look at and you see these are the things that, that you really like and that, that are really good. And then some of the things you're like, yeah, I don't really, it's something that I still just doesn't sit right with me as far as the job goes. No, being an attorney, I mean, the, the, the best part is when somebody can say he's my lawyer. I mean, and, and it really, um, it, it really is something when somebody goes, yeah, that's my lawyer. And then when you take pride in having somebody uh, say that, uh, whether it's an estate matter, a civil matter, um, but uh, but that's that's really the the best part of it is somebody can have trust in you to help them in some legal difficulty, um, and so that that's you know in trying to solve a problem, trying to uh, bring the parties to 
come to some resolution, whether it's, uh, you know, reviewing a, um, um, a contract for the sale of the house or, um, you know, some construction disagreement or just uh, I, I always tell people, call the lawyer before you uh, uh, get in some mess. Uh, what I what I see people is that they'll, they'll sign a contract and then they'll um, then they have some dispute. And they go, well, what what should I do? And I go, well, you should have called me before you signed that contract. Uh, but but I like trying to help people solve the problem, whatever whatever it is. The worst part about being a lawyer is just keeping track of your time. That's the worst worst thing. It's you know, people a billable we, hours. Exactly. Yep. That's the administrative uh, part. Is the is the part that everybody hates. Well, I'm sure some people would be okay if you forgot, you know, one or two here or there. That's Oh yeah. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. So what is, I guess, what's made you, um, what do you think some of your personality traits or characteristics that's made you uh, a successful attorney throughout the years? And what do you think are some things that if, uh, you know, a person you would see, uh, or, or I'm sure you've seen it before where someone comes in and you're like, yeah, I don't know if they're really going to make it. What are some of those things? I, I think being able to uh, be open, communicate, um, uh, have good communication skills um, and listen. And so those are the important uh, aspects of, of being a good attorney. Um, and some people have that. Some people get offended really easily and that, uh, they're probably not cut out to be a lawyer. Um, and so that's, uh, those are the things that, I, that I see. Um, but being able to communicate whether in writing or uh, over the phone and, and be able to communicate to people to say, I care about your case. And so, and, and not just from a advertising, um, you know, standing on a semi that's wrecked, but, uh, but just, you know, you know, how are you doing that? You know, because whether it's an auto accident or a contractual dispute, it affects somebody's life. And so that's you have to have some compassion. Yeah, I think that's kind of one thing that, you know, for me, too, as a, as a counselor, sometimes uh, it's more so like when I when I worked in middle school, there would be situations that would come to me that I was like, oh, my gosh, this is, you know, whatever. But then it, I always would try and remember to them, this is very important. Like this is the most important thing going on. And so for you, you may be like, well, I've got five other cases, but in their minds, this is the only case that matters that you're working on. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, so as far as I'm, did I interrupt you? Uh, no, th just th that that's a good point because lawyers are called, we're called counselors. And so, uh, um, so yeah, you have to, be able to not only listen to your client, but uh, be able to understand both sides of, of the case. That, that's that's what's important and be able to, um, you know, point out to your client that, hey, they, they're they saying something different. So, yeah, I don't have billable hours, though. So. Oh, the, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> How would, you know, if someone wanted to go into law and we, we do have several students who, you know, just on, on my group of students uh, that want to go into law, what's the best way to prepare? Like as far as even just high school classes or anything that they could do? The high school, you know, what's important is uh, communication. Uh, take um, English, very, you know, take all your English very, um, um, you know, very seriously um, and being able to speak. So I would try to take some type of debate or speech or things along those lines. Now, you don't have to do that because if you're going to go in some technical field um, and w there are lawyers in, with every sort of background. I know I knew lawyers that were music majors, opera majors. Um, and so it's a it's a good training for whatever background you have. I mean, I know and a lot of the CEOs are lawyers. And so they, you know, but they're, they're never going to step in a courtroom, but they have to be able to communicate and understand all the, all the issues. But I, I would definitely do that, but just, um, you know, study hard and um, uh, no matter what background you go into, you can go into law.
There you go. I lost you for a second. We do have we have a um, a uh, it's a class called uh, AP Research, and they do a lot of research and, and kind of dig deeper into into topics. I would assume that that would be probably a pretty good class too. Absolutely, absolutely. Any type of research because um, you know that lawyers don't we have training in law school but we don't know every aspect of the law so that's why um you you do research or you have your law clerk do research but that's very important uh, technology is very important as well uh, and that's really making its way uh in, into law in the courtroom um in law practice uh so uh, this is not just all covid related but it's it's just technology. It's uh, um, so all of that is very important and a good background for being a lawyer. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get you out of here on this question. Think okay. back probably 10 years ago when you were in high school, maybe 15. Um, just some some general advice for high school students that you can think of. Doesn't even have to do with career. Just general advice. General advice is be true to yourself and be true to your family. And uh, think about any decision that you're going to make, that, how it's going to affect your family, how it's going to affect you in the future, because um, all those decisions can come back um, uh, to really have an effect on your life. And so it's uh, um, that's always important. So and then have faith. That's that would be my um, my advice is get strong in your faith. And so it's. That's my best advice. And have a good good sense of humor. Um, you, if you don't have a good sense of humor, uh, there's sometimes in the law where it's like, you know, you have to just kind of laugh at some of the stuff or, you know, not to your clients, but it's just like it's a funny situation anyway. And so it's like, OK, how can we how can we resolve this and, you know, not be so serious? Yeah. Um, you, you seem like that's great advice. Uh, you seem like you have a good sense of humor. Uh, I, I have a little bit of sense of humor anyway. Anyone well, in specific give that to you? Any, any, any traits from? Well, I had an older brother and sister and they teased me constantly. I was the youngest child. And so they teased me all the time. So I, I had to learn humility and then, um, and, and, you know, and they were constantly teasing me and they still do. And so that's where I got my sense of humor. And that's that's unfortunate. I mean, those the the older brother and the older sister should really they just need to know better than that. Exactly. Especially the older sister. You would think that she would know, hey, this is my younger brother. You have to take care of him. But, exactly. So yeah. it just hasn't sunk in with her. Yeah. Well, one day she'll get it, I'm sure. Hey, Joe, thank you so much for joining me today. Joe McGuire, partner at Norris Choplin and Schroeder Law Firm. Thank you, Brian, and happy birthday. <laughs>